guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited to have you. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome if you're joining me live or recorded. I'm happy to have you create with me today. Today is Teddy is ready. Teddy is ready for the holidays. Are you ready? Are you ready for the holidays? So anyway, I always start with a sloppy copy and today I almost forgot. So real quick, um, again, grab any paper you have if you want to do a sloppy copy. So I'm just going to do, this is just practice paper that I had. There's stuff on the back of it. It's got holes in it, but I just want to sketch it out uh, as a practice version. Okay. So again, you can do your practice version on anything that you have. I'm just going to use, this is just computer paper. It's old. It's the back of something that I already used. So I'm going to start, let's start with, how about if we start with Teddy's face? Okay. So his eyes are two little circles. I want to make sure this is sturdy. Two little circles. And you can use pencil. I don't want you to use marker because you can't erase it. I'm using marker just so you can see it on the screen. Okay. So they're kind of little circles. And then his nose is almost like a triangle with rounded corners. Oops, I did it upside down. Look at his nose over there. So I did it upside down. Who cares? Now he kind of looks like a koala bear. Hey, it could be a koala bear. So I'll just remember on my other one to do it the other way, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to do it. That almost looks like a J, doesn't it? Or an umbrella. He's got an umbrella nose. <laughs> And then I'm going to do it going in this direction. That's his little smile. And I'm going to do this around it. And then I'm going to do the edge of his hat. Now, you can make it a Santa hat. You can make it a snow hat. You can make any colors you want. You can use any supplies that you have. I just recommend you sketch it out with a pencil just in case you make mistakes. This is holly on his hat, which consists of three little circles and some holly leaves. So those are the holly berries and holly leaves. Do you have to put that on there? No. Is my head in the way? All right, let's do his hat with this little fluffy ball. You could always, if you have a cotton ball, you could always glue a cotton ball on there as the little ball on the edge of his hat if you want to, or you can draw it out and paint it in or color it in with crayons or markers or colored pencils. I'm gonna do his ear right here and come around. I'm only gonna have one ear showing because the other ear is behind his hat. Then I'm gonna do his collar on his coat. He has a puffer coat on. Do you have to have a puffer coat? No, you don't. You can have a sweater. You don't have to have one. You could have a Santa jacket, right? So this is your artwork. You make it the way you want to. So these puffer jackets are pretty popular right now. Now I'm going to make my uh, tree overlap over his jacket. Do you have to have a tree? No. He can be a teddy bear and have nothing to do with, hi Lola, he could have nothing to do with Christmas, right? If you don't want a tree, don't put a tree in his hand. He could just have two hands or you could put a candy cane or you could put his wife or baby. I don't know, whatever you want. What about honey? Don't that bears love honey? You could put a little bucket of honey. Whatever. Just think outside the box. Here's the tree. I'm just going to stick to the, we're going to stick to our model, Teddy. So I'm going to put the tree and the star. And again, this is just my sloppy copy. So this cable sweater that he has on has like this. I thought that was so cute. 
So again, you don't have to add those details, but if you want to, you can. It just gives it a little texture. Let's do his jeans down here. So those would be blue, but you can use any color. And then his boots. And he, now he's floating, right? He needs the land. So I'm just going to put a little horizontal wavy line. That's going to be snow. We have snow here. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. It's snow. I already missed summer. So that's my sloppy copy. Again, you guys take your time and practice now over here on the wall. And this is actually the same size, but I printed out. So you guys, there's a printable PDF. Hey, Benji. You get, Lola, I'm about to do the good copy. So you're fine. You don't worry if you missed anything. And then this, so this is the printable, right? And then I have a color version, but I want you guys to use any colors that you want to, right? Your colors do not have to match Teddy. You can, if you want to have a red Santa hat, have a red Santa hat. It doesn't have to be white. So just, I want you to think about what color your hat's going to be, what color your sweater's going to be, so that you have contrast when you go to do the background, right? So you don't want to have a white background with a white hat with a white sweater. So just think about those color combinations that you choose, or you can do it exactly like mine. Totally up to you. So now I am going to do a his face, right? So let's hope I do this so that knows I did a little bit different. I'm going to start with his, let's start with his eyes, two little circles, use a pencil. I'm just using black so you guys can see it. Then I'm going to do Teddy's nose and then a vertical line with his smile, right? And then let's call it a muzzle. I'm not exactly sure what you call this thing on the bear, but I'll call it a muzzle, right? And it's not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to do, he's going to have one ear showing because the other ear is going to be behind the hat. But if you want to make it, I'm going to make his hat ribbed. So it's like you, 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 as many use as you want. Just depends on how detailed you want to make it. You don't even have to have it. You can just make it fluffy. You can make it straight across. Let's see. So let's do the rest of his hat here. And before I added the holly, so there's three berries on the holly. So there's three circles that overlap each other. And then the holly leaves. So here's a holly leaf. And you can always add this later. So there's three holly leaves. I'll do a little vein down the middle. You can always add little lines to your leaves if you want to. And then his hat. And again, if you want to make it a different kind of hat, you can make it a baseball cap, right? It's football season. You could do a Cleveland Browns hat. I know you guys love the Browns. Or the Bears, Chicago Bears. We could do a Chicago Bears hat. That would be cute. Again, I want you guys to do whatever you want. So you could be your favorite sports team. It could be, you know, a winter hat, a Santa hat, an elf hat. So I'm just doing these little arches because I'm going to make mine ribbed, right? So his is ribbed. Mine is fluffy. All right. Let's give him a collar. So I'm going to do an arch line here. I'm going to go, and it's going to get, look, it gets a little bit smaller and goes behind his head. So it's going to get narrower right there to give it the illusion that it's going back. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to arch it and go up and back. And again, I just made it look like the ball is, you know, overlapping it slightly. So the little ball will give the illusion that it's in front or on the side. So it's overlapping. All right, let's see. So 
I am going to do his shoulder over here. Let's look at our model. I'm glad Teddy's staying so still. Teddy, you're a great model. You don't even move. <laughs> All right. How you doing over there? Are you guys uh are you guys all caught up there? All right. So you have this collar. Now we're going to do his vest. So it's that like red puffer coat vest. I'm using the wrong part. Sorry, I'll redo that line. It's Now I want to put the Christmas tree over here. You don't have to, but I want mine to. So it's going to overlap his coat. And then I'm going to put a star on the top of mine. But again, you can put something different if you want to. That could be SpongeBob. You can make it into a SpongeBob. <laughs> so I'm reading the comments. So if you're watching this recorded and you're not in the chat, I'm just reading the comments. And uh, Teddy is from Costco. Teddy was born at the North Pole of Costco. So I love Costco. And I also su love supporting local, but I happened to be at Costco, saw Teddy. I was like, he's so cute. And I said, we have to make Teddy. So I decided for Teddy to be our model today. I thought he was too cute to not pass by. And actually it's super cool because he, his little lantern it has a timer and then the Christmas tree has uh, switches. So I just want to finish the, um, the drawing and then I'm going to show you something else real quick. But I, all right, you guys, I love Christmas more than Halloween. I love Christmas because Jesus Christ was born. And, but I love Christmas because people are in a good mood and it's not about the presents. It's just about, you know, people are extra kind and which they should be all the time. And, you know, it's just a really special time of the year for, for celebrating family and being together as much as possible. Right. Not about gifts. What can I say? Your gift is each other. All right. So let's go to, here's the bottom of his sweater over here. And then I'm going to do a vertical line right down the middle. That's where his boots are going to be. Right. And if you want to give them a special kind of boot, what's like the trendy boot right now? I haven't kept up with the fashion, but you can give them a trendy little boot. Mucklucks or um, what's those other boots called? that everyone wears. All right, so yeah. And his obviously his boots are, you know, a little lopsided. That's okay, I could fix it later with paint. It doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm not even worried about it. You can make elf boots. You can make him an elf outfit. Anyway, right now it looks like he's floating. So I wanna put the ground line in, which is horizontal, but I'm gonna make it wavy because I want Teddy to be in the snow. I, I saved Teddy from the Costco. Right, he he's uh, he's safe from Costco. I had forgot to do this arm, so we're gonna do an arm on this side. Keep it simple. You don't have to have him holding the lantern, right? I have some poinsettias down at the bottom. You want to add poinsettias? You can put a poinsettia in his hat, right? So and there's my background again. You can look at the little drawings. Oh, I have Santa over here. He's for later. He's cute, right? <laughs> I had to dig all my stuff out. So I'm still in the process of digging my things out. And if you want to draw little circles on your Christmas tree for lights, you can do that as well. What I wanted to show you guys, I'm always talking about lights. It's, hey, guess what, Lola? 
it's not Christmas here either, okay? It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Do you know why I like to start early? Just like I remember when um, you asked me, oh, it's not even Halloween here. Well, Halloween is always October 31st. I like to start at the end of September so that I have all those paintings decorating my house or giving them away as presents before the holiday, right? I don't want to put up Halloween stuff after Halloween. Same thing with Thanksgiving. So we did wobble gobble turkey and, you know, the cornucopia, you know, a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving so we could decorate, right? So you want to decorate before and during the holiday. And then after Thanksgiving, you can kind of transition into Christmas. So Christmas is December 25th around the world, no matter where you live. Okay. It's the same date everywhere, December 25th. So if I live in Cleveland and you live in Washington, December 25th is Christmas, but we start early just so we can decorate. That's why. And some people are like, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Why do you do Christmas? Well, because I want to decorate. I want to decorate my house. I want to give people, you know, presents. And again, you can make them a painting. You could turn it into a card, right? You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, anything that you want to, to color your teddy bear in. So I am going to start. Well, I didn't. Oh, I forgot his cable because I think that's so cute. So I'm going to do his little, his ribbed collar that's on the sweater. So it's like a little rib collar. And then it kind of goes almost, think of it almost like a V like this. That's the cable going down his sweater. Do you have to do that? No. And then the bottom of his sweater is ribbed too. Those are just details. Again, you can add details now. You can add them later. So what does change with the time? So let's say December 25th is around the world, but maybe you're in a different time zone. So I know if the time zone's different, then maybe I'm Eastern Standard Time and maybe Pacific, That's th they're three hours behind us. So right now in Cleveland, it's noon, but maybe it's not, I mean, for sure, it's 9 a.m. on the Pacific Coast, right? So the same thing, maybe the date changes just by a few hours off, but the date itself for a holiday is the same everyone's celebrating on December 25th. Again, maybe off by a few hours. Um, all right. So there's my talk on time. <laughs> all right. Now you guys can paint in his hat. Again, any color you want to. Maybe I'll make my hat red and leave the trim white. But then his sweater, remember his, so you can change yours any way you want. Just remember that you want to think about the background color, the color of his pants. They could be blue. They could be green. They could be whatever you want to, but you want to think about the color that you're going to leave in the background. All right. I know I want to do my snow white. I'm going to do his boots brown. Let me start with his red vest. Well, yeah, let me start with the red vest because you know I don't like to use the dark colors too soon, but let's start with the red vest. And you don't have to make yours red. Again, you can make yours any color you want to. So I just started with the collar. And again, I can make my hat match a sweater or I can make his hat match his vest, or I can make Teddy's hat match my hat and Santa's hat. Okay, so I consider that to be a flat red. It means I didn't mix anything into it. I didn't add white to it. I didn't add black to it. It's just pure red.
Yay, I love pictures. If you, I just read people are doing uh, catch up on the plant, not catch up like catch up, but catch up on the videos to do some of them. And I love when you guys check in. If you can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party, that goes right. I love when you check in in the private group too. But if you check in on the Facebook page, everyone can see it. Most of the time I repost it on there. But if you don't mind people seeing it, you check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party and upload your picture. And then that way, everyone that follows Artist at Heart can see your photo. So right now I just use flat red. If you want to darken it up, you know, maybe you add a tiny bit, a tiny bit of black. And so it would give it a little bit more dimension. But if you like that look of cartoon and flat color, so it looks like a cartoon, right? Because it's pretty flat. You can do that. Or again, you can just, I just put a little smidge of black in there or brown to darken it up. So it's just not so flat. You could add white to it to lighten it up. I'll put a little white in there just to show you. I just put a tip a white tip in my on my paintbrush just to give it a little bit of value okay and then I'm just gonna keep going with this vest I just want to make it a little bit different, right? So this, I'm going to make it just a little bit darker so that it looks like the collars. You can see the separation. So it's still red. It's just a little bit darker to tell the difference from the collar to the jacket. The vest, it's a vest. And don't worry if you cover up your lines. We can always add them in later. So I'm just, you know, I went inside my tree a little bit. That's all right. I put a little bit of the brighter red on my brush down here. So again, it just doesn't look too flat, too much of one red. But if you want it to be, that's fine. Oh, in here. And then I'll do a little bit lighter, maybe put a little bit of white on my red brush. I don't want them to have a pink coat. Nothing's wrong with pink. Pink is fine. I just, I don't want Petty in a pink coat. Teddy, Petty Teddy, no, no. Teddy, Teddy Bear. Teddy doesn't want to wear pink. All right, Teddy, I don't blame you. You could save your pink for Valentine's Day. All right, so now let's do the other side. So I'll just jump right in here since I have that color on the brush. So really it was just red with a little bit of white, but not so much that it looks pink. Then I'll just go back to the like bright red so it looks different than the collar, right? You want it to be a little bit different. And how you can change that red, you take one red, maybe you add a tiny bit of brown or a tiny bit of black or a tiny bit of white. Nut all three because you're going to end up with a brown color if that happens. So see that blended together so I can add a little bit of white so that it stands out a little bit more.
see I didn't put enough white in there so let me do that real quick before I lose it so I'm just going to add a little bit of white in here so that it stands out from his jacket or the vest and I just got some red in his sweater but I'm going to cover it and fix it later so I'll just let it dry don't worry if you don't stay inside the lines you can fix it And again, you can add the lighter red, the darker red. You do not have to make it red. You can make it any color you want to. It could be purple, right? It could be any color you want it to be. It could be green. It could be any color of the rainbow. And again, I said, oh, Teddy doesn't want to do pink. But if you want to do pink, make it pink. Do you want his boots to match his vest? Make a match. This is your artwork. I want you guys to do it how you want to do it. Use your favorite colors. So, so many times people want a supply list. And again, I can uh, do a recommended supply list. But I like when you use what you have. And I like when you use your favorite colors. You do not have to do it the way I'm doing it. I mean, I can I can help you along the way and give you ideas. But again, I want you to do what you like. Teddy could be a girl. It doesn't have to be a boy. Right? You could you could uh put a big bow on the hat too. That would be cute. Bows on the boots. Just think of the different ways you could do it. Since I have red on my brush, I'm going to do, these are holly berries. So if you did make holly, you can paint in your holly berries while you have the red. Now, right now, mine looks like one big berry. So when I re-outline it later, you'll see it a little bit more. And my, you don't see the rib, like the rib lines in here. So I'll re-outline that also later. Do, 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 do. So I think what I'll do is I think I'm going to do his mitten and his blue jeans match. So, but whatever you want to do, you don't have to. So I know I'm going to make Teddy and it's probably hard for you guys to see on the, on the little sculpture. So I wanted to show you something. So I always talk about lighting. So right now, Teddy, I have windows over there. And so I have the blinds open, so natural light is coming in. So the light source you guys see in this painting is coming from over there. That's why Teddy is lighter on this side, right? He's lighter. You can see his eye better. You can see his mitten better. Plus, so it's darker on this side. Why would I do that? Why, why did I leave one natural light source? The light source is coming from outside, plus I have a tree over here. So both light sources are coming from that direction because I wanted the tree to glow more. OK, you can see the tree glowing more with one light source coming from over there. If I turn the light in above, it's going to even out somewhat the light because I'll still have that. But then I'm going to have an artificial light source, which would be the light in my ceiling. I'll show you real quick. OK, so you can see that the contrast, the strong shadow, the strong light coming from the other side of the room where the window is, it softened because I turned the overhead light on. So now you have a better sense of even lighting, right? So I just wanted to give you that little tidbit of natural light versus artificial light. So artificial will be the lights you turn on and off and natural light would be outside light. All right, I'm gonna shut the light back off because I love natural light. Now I'm gonna do, again, my mitten is blue. So again, I want it, my background is going to be light blue. So since my background is going to be light blue, I'm going to make his mitten dark blue. So again, you can see it better. So it has contrast, but it doesn't mean you have to. Your whole background could be white like snow.
and your glove could be a pattern. It could be polka dots. It doesn't have to be blue like mine. It doesn't have to be blue like Teddy's. Okay. And then while I have the blue on there, again, I'm going to do like blue jeans. So I'm going to use that same darker blue so that when I do my light blue background, it shows up. Maybe, again, if you make a girl teddy, maybe it's a, she's in a dress. I know it looks kind of black. It's actually like a deep blue. But on camera, sometimes I don't use the dark blue too much because on camera, sometimes it looks black. But it is blue. Those are his blue jeans. All right. Let's paint in Teddy. I'm ready for painting in Teddy. Let's paint the brown in. So if you don't have a brown, you can mix some red and some blue and some black together. It might look a little bit purple. You can add some white to it. You can add some orange to it. Or you can just use brown if you have brown. Okay. And I'm going to do uh, Teddy's face is going to be brown, not the muzzle. I'm going to leave the muzzle white, this area here. And even the center of the ear, I'm going to paint in brown and then I'll do it darker later. So that's what I'm talking about with the flatness. See how flat the blue is? See how flat the brown is? So it looks more like a cartoon. It doesn't give it any dimension. And if you want it to be dimensional, you can add a little bit of white to it or a little, yeah, I would say white. But I'm going to do that later. So right now it should be pretty flat looking. You know, maybe your bear is a polar bear. Maybe he's white. Maybe if you did your polar bear white, maybe his clothes are different colors, right? You could do the polar bear white and then make your sweater red or blue. And I could paint right over his eyes because I'm going to paint him in black later, but I'll paint around it. So again, if you go inside the line, don't worry about it. I'm just taking my time and painting around it, but I could just go right over it and then redo the black over it. He looks weird with white eyes, doesn't he?
coming along. Coming along. All right, so I'm just gonna show you real quick if you wanted to lighten it up. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white right on my brush, same brush. And if you want to give them a little bit of value, you could just, again, put it right on there. You can even use a tiny little brush. Oh, I just went right into the eye. You could use a tiny little brush and make it look furry. So I love the look with the brush strokes. So I just keep doing these wispy little lines in the direction of what I'm painting. So see, my brush is following the direction of the shape. If you're using crayons, same thing. You would want to color in that direction. Color in the direction of the shape. You don't have to, but it gives it a look of more dimension so that it's not so flat. So it has volume, right? That's called form. When something is um, not flat or dimensional, it has form. And we're giving it the illusion like it has form. So that's how you would add value. So again, a little bit of white. Let's put a little bit of white in Teddy's face. Mix it in that brown. And if your brown's already dry, add a little bit more brown to it. Mine's already starting to dry. So if you're in a cold climate like me in Cleveland, we have the heat on and the heat dries out all the moisture in the air, which makes the paint dry that much quicker. So if you're in Florida and it's really humid out, the moisture in the air makes the paint take longer to dry. So really when I people ask me how long it'll take to dry, it depends on what type of paint you're using or the amount of paint you're putting on there. So if you're painting really thick like Van Gogh, it's gonna take longer, but a lot of it has to do with the moisture in the air, the humidity level. I know it's driving me crazy too. I could tell those white eyes, you just want to fill them in with black. Me too. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this until I get to the black because it's creepy. It's like these white eyeballs staring at me. But again, I, it doesn't matter if I painted those in or not because I'm going to use black over them. We don't want Teddy to look scary. We want Teddy to be cute. I'm going to fix this arch up here on his nose. Now it just looks like his hat's covering his eyes, doesn't it? All right, so, oh, and then what else are we doing brown? So his boots are brown too. Yours do not have to be. You could do them black, you could do them green, you could do them red. But I'm gonna do mine brown. I really want mine to try to match Teddy. Now, I don't want it to look exactly like his fur because, you know, I, oh, that would be creepy like Teddy wearing Teddy Furbert boots. No, no, that's not good. So maybe you put a little bit, his boots are kind of orangey. Maybe I'll put a little bit of red in there, mix it in there, see what happens. Maybe I need a little yellow because I didn't put any orange. That looks better. Look at that. I put some yellow in there. I like that color. So we want it to look a little bit different than Teddy's fur. We do not want to make boots out of Teddy's fur. All right, I'm going to mix some yellow in there. So it looks just a little bit different. If you have orange, you can mix it in there. Or you can use orange paint for his boots. I don't want orange boots. I think I, I outdid myself in orange for October. Now I'm moving into the red mood. I'm in the red mood. Now, why did I put yellow in there? Because yellow and red make orange. So I wanted my brown to have a little bit more of an orange, orange brown look. And you can even add some white to it if you want to. Oops, I bumped into the blue. I got a little blue in there, so I'm just gonna mix it in there. Look, no one knows. Shh. 
It's our secret. Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Oh, I have so many, it's hard to decide. You know I have to say A Christmas Story because it takes place in Cleveland, Ohio. And I grew up watching A Christmas Story. And I laugh every time I watch it. We have in Cleveland a Christmas story house where the movie was filmed. Not completely, but it's always on display. You can go visit it and go on a tour there. I mean, it's not a big house, but it's in downtown Cleveland. Of course, Charlie Brown Christmas is a classic and it's a wonderful life. There's so many, so many favorite Christmas movies. This would be really cute again to do several versions and make them into cards. You could do little baby teddy bears and make them into little cards to mail to people. If you want to do it digitally, you could always take a picture of it and make it, you know, a digital card, right? And mail it to them digitally. I would put a tiny bit of white. Let's see what happens if I give it a little highlight over here. Let's give him a little highlight on his shoe. Eh, it kind of disappeared. Let's go. See how it doesn't look quite as flat now with that little white on there. I could do the same thing over here. It snowed yesterday and I could not find my boots. I'm like, where did I put my boots? Hmm. I just added a little bit of that brown up there. I thought, oh, let me see what that looks like up on his face. Just gives it, again, a little bit more character, a little more interest. You can give him rosy cheeks if you want to. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh no, I, I was gonna say I forgot his arm, but no, that's white. Okay, so maybe we do um maybe we do uh, like an off-white for his sweater. So that would be you could do it with a tiny bit of brown or a tiny bit of yellow. If you have a tan paint or a beige paint, you can use that, or you can make it any color you want, right? Any color you want. I don't know if I've ever made beige before. Oh, Alf. I love Alf. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Alf was, so the kids, Richie, Rachel, and Joe used to sleep over all the time. And that was just a tradition. We would always watch Alf. Richie was really little. Fate, one of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Sugar! Candy! I love candy! <laughs> when he's eating dinner with all that sugar. Oh my gosh, so funny. All right, let's see. Okay, that looks too dark. So I'm gonna scoop up some more white. So I was just on my plate mixing some yellow. See, to me that's too dark. Let's just add some white to it. Do, 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 do. See if it's lightening up a little bit. 
see, I, I went inside the line before, so now I'm just painting over it. You could do that as long as it's dry. I'll put some over there. Oop, I got a little red. See that that little smudge red, it was wet and I bumped into it and I got it in there. So I'm looking, I'm gonna just mix it into my sweater. And I can always go over it later with some and my black marker smudged into there. I wonder why that is. Usually it doesn't do that, but I am using a new marker. So again, I can go over it with some white later. I put some white in here. Do his sweater. I wish I had that outfit. I was like, oh, I want to match Teddy, but I didn't go shopping to get a sweater and a vest. And then if I got painted, I would have been bummed. So I just decided to wear what I have. That's not a bad color. I could, oh, I'll do his hat that color too, but you guys do your hat any color you want to. And then, um, or do I do, do you want me to do a Santa? I'm going to let you guys decide. Should I do the hat to match a sweater or should I do a Santa hat like mine? What do you think? I'm going to let you pick. So remember the holly berries are on there. So we know this part should be light. Otherwise it would, Blend into it. Eh, I want to make it match. I want to make it match Teddy so that I can take a picture and post the two so that it looks like the little sculpture, little thing I want. But again, make yours however you want. Well, it's kind of like a Santa hat, except it matches his sweater. Okay, and I'll do the, the back. I'm not going to do the little cables, the little knit cables running through. I'll just do it a little bit lighter or maybe a little bit darker. I have to see how it looks. 
His hip might be a little bit too big. Let's see. Then go right over that line. Maybe I just need a hat to match, right? And you know what? So again, as I'm looking on the screen, I'm like, maybe his face could be a little bit bigger on that side. He looks a little lopsided, so I could fix it. Let me finish his hat. And you could paint in his, you know, this part, maybe a little bit lighter than the hat, a really light tan. My brown's still wet and I just bumped into it. So I just mixed it in there. I think the stark white of the canvas is just a little too white. So I'm softening it up. I use the same color. I just added a little bit more white to it. I know you just wanna use the black to put his face in there, but you guys know the black ends up everywhere. So I'm gonna wait till the end to do the black because me, I'll bump into it. I just want to fix this brown right here. So I want his face to come out a little bit more right here. And up into his ear. That looks a little better. I thought his face looked a little too small. You can, you know, again, change it up however you want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a few minutes. I posted it in the beginning. They want to come on the screen. So I posted it in the beginning. If you guys have gold paint, you can use gold. I'm going to use yellow. And I'll post the link. Again, if you have gold paint, you can use gold paint. If you don't want to do a star, don't do a star. If you don't want to do a tree, don't do a tree. You can make this, you know. You can put a face on your star. Because it's your artwork. Let me see if I got the link. If you guys want to. I still have more to do. But if, if you want to come on. Let me see if I. Let me see if I can get it to you guys. Sometimes I'm quicker at it than others. Right? How about your favorite Christmas song? What's your favorite Christmas song? You know I can't sing. One, because then Facebook's going to mute it out. Not that they could recognize it, but 
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Can you see any of my comments? I don't know why my comments don't show up under the video. Oh, let's try here. Yay, there you go. Look at that. Oh, and Irina got it too. Thank you, Irina. Sometimes sometimes I post it in a in a different place and it doesn't show up. So thank you guys. There's the link. And um Hey. <laughs> so I'm not Hi. done. Yet. Yeah. I'm not done. Yet. Oh, that looks awesome, Lola. Thank you. You're doing great. Okay, I can't figure out where to put my head. <laughs> uh, wait. I need to go get something. I want to show you what I draw. And I was thinking if we can go, if we can do it. So okay. Let's see. All right, you guys, look at that. I positioned Teddy right in the middle, and now I can't get in there. I'm here. So okay. I draw these little foods with eyes, and I was thinking we can do the hot chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Could Teddy be holding the hot chocolate? Yeah. Wouldn't it, You know what you could also do? Like, I love that idea. So let's just say I wanted to do that. I could. You could cut that out and glue it on your painting. Mm -hmm. so if I, like since I didn't do it already, I could make that little cup of hot cocoa on something else, like you did, and then cut it out and glue it on there. Okay, that's a great idea. My mom doesn't like me to cut this out because since this is like a sketchbook, like you said, yeah. I love it. Could you do? Could you trade it and put it on another piece of paper that you could cut apart? Okay. You know what I mean? Make another mm -hmm. one, and then you can cut it out and maybe change the size to fit in Teddy's hand. Yes, I have, mm -hmm. like, art classes in this. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you. No, I, so um, I need some help here. I didn't focus what you were doing with the sweater, and I need help because I don't know how to make the color of the sweater. Oh, the color of the sweater. So mm -hmm. take a little bit of yellow. And a tiny bit of brown and the white and mix it together. And you okay. can I just kind of mixed it right on there, but you could also mix it on your plate. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown, a little bit of white. Okay, do we have to do the lamb? No, that looks great, but you don't have to. I, I didn't do it. Can I, like, don't you remember how you did this? I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in the boots. That would be cute. You know what else would be cute on your boots? Little what? poinsettias. This is a poinsettia. Yeah. You could put poinsettias on his boots. Yes, I have those in like Christmas decorations. Cute. <laughs> so yeah, I just again, I'm just getting the Christmas stuff out. But you can put whatever you want to on your boots. I think it's really can cute. We, can we do Snoopy? So you know, Christmas Snoopy's on the website. Did you know that? Yeah. Um. Well, uh, since it's almost Thanksgiving, I think we can do like if they were sitting on a table and they had chicken or something. Uh, well, let me look into it. I, I have all the other paintings posted, but I'll I'll keep looking and see what we could do about it. I did. I did for my mom. Forgot that we had the art in of the fruit that you're doing for Thanksgiving because I had school in that, so I couldn't do it. But it's recorded. I, I can do that. Yeah, so the cornucopia, that's called the cornucopia, that's recorded, and then there's a You can make that one if you wanted to. I can do, I can do your, like, the fruits um, when we have, like, free time. Like, today we have no calls, but we have homework, so I have time to do your art. Sounds good. Thanks, Lola. Uh, can I come, can I pop up the screen when I'm done? Sure. Thank you. Sure, see ya. Hey, Benji. Okay. Ooh, very nice. I like your colors. Boy, I didn't even get to my tree yet. 
That looks nice. What's you gonna call him Teddy? Mom, I can't you find one of the dolls. It's okay. It's okay. You just saw it. Yeah. Can't find Louie the voice down. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Benji, you have a bear shirt on. That's awesome. Look at Benji's bear shirt. Let me see your shirt. You got a bear on your shirt, Benji. Bear your shirt. <laughs> yeah, we just saw that. I love it. I love that. That's awesome. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank I you. didn't even know, so I put it on. That's perfect. It matches. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Benji. Hey, Reagan. Hi. How's it going? Good. Very cute. Oh, I love the blue background. That's a pretty blue. I say that every time you use that blue. It's such a cool color. And a good color for your sweater, too. I love it. Um, The star has glitter in it, but you can't really see. That looks great. Good job. I like the bows. Oh, those are laces on the boots. I like the laces. I didn't do that. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys. You guys are so far ahead of me. I got to get going. Okay. I guess I've been talking a lot today, right? Ah, oh, I know. Sorry. I didn't mean to yak so much. Yakety, yakety, yak. Let me do the tree. I haven't even gotten to my tree yet. So I'm using green for my tree. I can make it darker, lighter. I could use two different trees. My coloring, whatever you're using, is going in the direction of the shape. So look, my branches are going to come out like this. Maybe I'll make it a little more balanced. Hmm. Let me finish my trees and I'll bring the girls up from Florida. Emma and Bella. Hey girls. Hi. <laughs> oh, I love candy canes. I don't have candy canes yet. <laughs> It's mine. Oh, so cute. What? He's got a gift in his hand. What's in his hand? Um, that's a hot chocolate with candy. Oh, oh, okay. Now I can see it. Oh, that's a cute hot chocolate. And you have an angel on the tree. I love that. And I'm going to put sparkles in my teddy bear's eyes because I think I like that. Awesome. I love it. This is mine. I used pencil today. What did you use? Pencils. Oh, I love it. That looks so cute. I love the lace. Your boots came out amazing, too. Very detailed. Wow. You know what I was just thinking too? We can add presents in the snow. That would be cute to put like snap presents. Make it snowing with little snowflakes from falling from the sky. Snowflakes. You can even put like um maybe some like footprints in the snow, maybe like boot prints or something. I don't know. Those look awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. We have a ton of teddy bears. And I like, yeah, I'm looking behind you guys. And then there's wow. How many one? Oh my gosh, a whole family. And then there's <laughs> that is hilarious. I love it. Aww. Yeah, oh my gosh, where's my teddy bear? Hold on. I forgot. I you guys haven't seen Teddy in forever. Oh, hold on. oh I just got green paint all over the wall. Oops. All right, that wasn't me going down. <laughs> All right, so I just had to dig them out, but I just got green paint all over the wall. Remember, Teddy? <laughs> and then this one looks a little bit like the teddy bear we just painted. Yeah. So that's awesome. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Put like a little bow on his neck. Say it again. A little bow tie on his neck. I love the bow tie. That's a great idea, too. Thanks for sharing and inspiring and giving me ideas. Except now I got green paint all over my wall. So I got to I gotta wash it off and I got to finish Teddy. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you. Bye. Heart. Oh, heart. 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 Okay. Let's go back.
I think I totally lost my green brush because I had to get Teddy. So if you've been watching for a while, I used to have Teddy, my white Teddy, in all of the videos. He used to be in the background. And poor Teddy got put in the corner with the sunflowers. And he kind of got buried over there. So that's what you heard was like the avalanche falling of all my junk. Not me. Although I've been known to do that too. Let's see. I can make this tree go right off the edge like that. It's a little lopsided. And then remember this holly up here is green. I got a little white paint in there from the hat, but that's okay. No one has to know it's a mistake. I'm just telling you guys. It's a secret. Because you no one would know my mistakes but the people that I tell. Mm, so I'm gonna make this connect a little bit more. And if you want, you could put some darker green in there too. I know you guys just really want me to add the black so that Teddy can see. Let's make Teddy see. All right, so I'm gonna do some black. So let's do the nose first. All right, well, this nose looks a little. You guys know who Yogi Bear is? He's kind of looking like Yogi Bear to me. Now I could do the eye. So I'm going to do a little eye here. Now we can see. And another eye right here. Try to make them the same size. This one looks a little small to me. And if you're doing a girl bear, you can give her eyelashes. I'm going to go over this a little bit. If you don't have a small brush, you can use a black marker when your paint's dry. I can make the inside of the ear a little bit darker. I don't want to use pure black. I think that would be too dark. The inside of the ear is a little bit darker. He looks so much better with eyes, doesn't he? Oh my gosh. You guys can outline everything. I wanted to do some lines in here with this jacket. just so you could see the details, right? So 
So anywhere you it got too close in color and you lost the line, you can go back into it. All right, Lola wants to come up and share. Hey, Lola. Okay, so this is my finished touch of like, I do need some help with this guy because I think this guy looks like purplish. Ooh, I think your sky looks pretty. Are you gonna finish the top of it? Yeah, but um, can the hat be any color? Of course. Any color I like. I so I remember that you want it to stand out. So what color are you gonna do the hat, red? Um, I read it in red and the blue, so I need some ideas. Well, you could do, again, it could match. So I my hat's gonna match my sweater. So, but you could do your hat red. You could do a pink to match your boots. Right? Wait, I bet, uh, maybe I can make it white and draw Snoopy. Like, a that would be cute. Like, put a little Snoopy in your hat. Yeah. That would be really cute. I love that idea. And you know what? Again, you could do Snoopy on a separate piece of paper and cut it out and glue it on. Right? Same thing with, like, the cocoa. You can always add to it like that. Okay. So. Wait, what's your favorite movie to watch? Oh my gosh, I have so many, but I, I'd have to say I it's it's Elf. <laughs> I love Christmas Story. I can watch over and over and over. And when his tongue gets stuck to the pole, you know what movie that is? Yeah, yeah. and then that one and an Elf. Those yeah, like um, I'm gonna play one. But it might be for Christmas. It. Like night before Christmas, is it? I thought that was a Halloween movie. How about Scrooge? I never watched that. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Mm. So, um, I need some help here. I made a mistake. Where? Show me. The blue? Yeah. The blue? Yeah. So you're going to take, is it really wet right now? Let it dry and then go over it with the green tree. Let it dry. Go back over, paint over it again with the green, the green that matches your tree, and then you can put a different color ornament there or nothing at all. Just leave it the green of the tree. But how can I like? How can I make a different ornament? Like, yeah, so you're, you're gonna paint over it. So you're gonna wait for that one to dry. You're gonna paint over it with green. You're gonna wait for the green to dry, and then you're gonna add a whole another ornament on top of the green. But you have to let the okay. green dry. Got it. Okay, why I'm gonna tell you a joke. Okay. Why did Dracula go, why did Dracula go to art class? Why did Dracula go to art class? Um, I don't know. He wanted to paint blood. Yeah. Draw blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got another one. Right. Why did the cucumber order a lawyer? Fire. Hire a lawyer. Why did the cucumber hire a lawyer? Yeah. I don't know. Because he was in a pickle. <laughs> Very good. I yeah. like are you going to join us Friday? What do we do? We're, come up with some more jokes for Friday if you're going to join us. Um, Like when is the art class? 7 p.m. Yes. My time, yeah. 7. We're going to join it. All right. Come up with some more jokes for Friday. Okay. Thanks, Lola. Bye. Bye. All right. Let me finish this teddy bear. I'm going to just soften some of this right here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I am going to do my background light blue. But again, you guys can do whatever color you want to. 
I want you to use a color that's going to stand out, you know, that's going to, it can, and it might could even be lighter than that. And I could even make it lighter by adding some white to it. it. What I mean, stand out, you just want it to be different than the rest of your artwork, right? So that's why I did not want to use the same blue as my glove or of the blue jeans. I'm going to leave the ground white because that's going to be like the snow. So I just scooped up some more white. I'm kind of leaning on my easel and it's tilting. Let's do it here. And again, you guys could add whatever you want to. I love the hot cocoa. I, I love it. But so again, right, mine right now, I would I could make a little cup of hot cocoa and put it in his hand. I could do the lantern. It doesn't actually have to be on my artwork. I could do it on a separate piece of paper, probably like a piece of tag board or something a little bit heavier so it doesn't get wavy or curl. And then I could glue it on there. And I would just use like a glue stick if you have a glue stick. Glitter. I love that you guys are using glitter. You could add snowflakes. So you guys inspire me to come up with different ideas. I love how you think outside the box. I love filling the space up with teddy bears. I didn't even think about that. Poor my poor teddy was all buried in the corner. We got we got this teddy. Oh, I named him Pierre, Pierre the Bear, remember? You guys helped me name him. The white one is Pierre the Bear. And I'll do this part here. This is the sky color. You could put a trunk on the tree. You can make it like teddies. You could have, again, you could put little presents down here. Um, 
And there you go. I'm almost done. If you guys want to outline it, add stuff to it, add glitter to it, make poinsettias, just make art, have fun, be happy, have a great day, keep creating, send me your pictures, check in, artist at her paint party, okay? And let me see what you got. Let me see what you made. I love it. Thank you for inspiring me. You guys, I will see you soon. Thank you. Ciao. Teddy says bye. <laughs>